Hey everybody, Boris Lester, BK Force. Welcome to our weekly analysis of the crosses for June 25 to June 29 of 2018. And the big story, I think, as the week begins to develop is the relative strength of the calm dollars against the majors. So those are the main ideas I have for you, as well as a little bit of a trade on risk aversion, which could still have uh, develop as the week progresses. So the big three ideas I have is pound kiwi which looks very ripe for further consolidation to the downside remember kiwi had one of the stronger comebacks and cable looks very shaky so a trade to the downside towards the 191 level very much in the cards as we start the week euro swiss definitely has a lot of support at this 115 level but if that level goes it's like a waterfall that could easily take us to 1450 and all the way down towards the 1400 more importantly we really rejected the 1600 level very, very hard this week. And it's very much a testament to the fact that risk aversion flows are still very dominant, uh, both against the euro and with the escalation of rhetoric on the trade war, certainly um, against the dollar as well. So to me, any basically, if you sort of bet on the fact that the Trump administration is going to continue to roil the, uh, the waters and antagonize all of its allies this week in terms of trade negotiations, you have a very reasonable chance here that they're gonna try and break that 1500 and take us to the 1450 on the downside. Um, you really have to have much more of re recon reconciliatory reconciliation, much greater sense of reconciliation out of the Trump administration for risk flows to begin to breathe and come back up. Um, and technically, certainly the rejection that we saw this week uh, bodes very badly and suggests that we have more continuation to the downside as far as Euro Swiss goes. And then last but not least, another very strong technical trade. Um, even though Euro looks relatively good, it's the fact that Aussie looks better. And this 158, which has been rejected three or four times over the last uh, four days, uh, just very, very solid level of resistance and therefore a decent place to stop against the potential of us moving down to the 156 as the week opens up. So let's take a look at Euro Aussie and show you what I mean. So here's the Euro Aussie. You see that this one, three, four days of us failing to clear the uh, towards the 158 level. In fact, you could say it's failing to clear the 157.60 um, level for all intents and purposes. And the rejection on Friday kind of really puts the near-term pressure to the downside, puts the bears in control here, and suggests that we have a chance here to run towards the 56th level before any kind of meaningful support materializes on that particular trade. Now, looking at Euro-Swiss, which is the risk aversion trade, this is, I think, a very big tell. This, this Friday reversal of risk flows, the complete um, inability to, for us to rally towards the 116 level, which you really you do have to give yourself a little bit of room here, but... More importantly, the downside pressure as it continues to build, build, build could crack the 115 and push us all the way down towards the 1450 and really not to the 1400 until we find meaningful level of key support in the Euro Swiss. And then, of course, last but not least, here's the reversal candle in, in Kiwi dollar. I'm sorry, in pound Kiwi. And the fact that pound Kiwi also could not clear the 93s gives a relatively decent uh, short trade here with a 193 stop that could take us all the way down to 191. This is really much more a trade on the fact that the pound can't get its act together and that Kiwi is going to hold firm uh, and maybe even accelerate its, its gains as the week begins. So overall, those seems to be the best setups as the week begins. It's all about trading the calm dollars against the majors and making a continuation bet on the fact that risk aversion is not yet over. Wish you guys the best luck, the best of trading. Boris Schlossberg, over and out.